Hey guys, it was so good to see you this afternoon. I'm going to keep up with our Ezra Jack Keats uh, theme that we have going on. We read Whistle for Willie on Monday, and then today you guys read Peter's Chair for your assignments. This is another book by the same author. Let's read and see if it's the same character. It's called Pet Show. Everyone was talking about the pet show. The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring ants. I'm going to bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you going to bring, Archie? The cat? Uh-huh, said Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat? Archie called. Anyone see the cat? Archie and Willie looked in the cat's favorite hangouts, while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Do you guys notice anything? Archie's mother came to the window. Where can that cat be? He asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You'd better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. Susie chased Peter. And the show started. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called. They walked up and down, looking carefully at every pet and asking, how old is your pet? And what's your pet's name? Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fishes, the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. Do you hear all those describing words when they talked about the pets? As the last prize was awarded, someone shouted, Look! Here comes Archie! Hello, you're just in time, a judge said. What's in that bag? My pet. May I see it, please? At that moment, the cat showed up. Do you see the cat? The other judge called out, a blue ribbon to the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. Before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. What kind of pet have you got in that jar? A germ, answered Archie. Hmm. And what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Al, he said. Is a germ a pet? I wonder what's going to happen. The judges whispered to each other.
A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. <laughs> As everyone was leaving, the old woman came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay, Archie said. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around she said. The end. So, what did you notice about this book that is kind of the same as what we've been doing this week? What was different? Can you compare and contrast? And maybe you can come up with a cause and effect that happened in this book as well. All right, guys, I miss you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.